All right, dreamer, finally, we are here. We're about to start your dream blog. Are you excited? I hope you are. All right, so here's what we're gonna go over in this lesson. We are going to register your new domain name. You're gonna sign up for hosting. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the difference between wordpress.org and wordpress.com. And we're gonna install WordPress. We're gonna do everything needed in order for you to set up your blog and launch it. Just as a quick note, this will be a tutorial on how to set up your new blog with Bluehost and WordPress, because that is what I recommend you start out with. And it's what I use when I started my blog. Warning, I don't mean to sound dramatic, but I want to talk about the fact that you should not settle for free. I want to bring some attention to something that I hear from a lot of aspiring bloggers. And you might be thinking the same thing. Hmm, this seems too complicated. I'll just create my blog using a free service like Blogger, Tumblr, WordPress.com, etc. Do not do it. All right? Do not go free and do not go not self-hosted. So why a self-hosted blog is a must. I want you to go pro from the get-go. I did not mean to rhyme, but I'm serious here. If you want your blog to be perceived as professional, for real, and if you eventually want to make money online, self-hosting through Bluehost is the way to go. I cannot stress this enough. You need a self-hosted blog. This way you are the boss and you have complete control over your blog and you're much more likely to turn your blog into a successful one. You want to own your own domain. If you don't self-host, you don't own your domain and the free blogging platform that you choose is in complete control of your blog and you have no control. And you always wanna have control, right? You're starting a business. You're starting a blogging business here. Also, if you decide to sign up for a free blogging service and end up regretting it down the line, it's going to be quite the hassle to change. So I say it's much better to set yourself up for success from the very beginning. If you want your blog to be profitable, self-hosting is a must. It's going to be really hard and close to impossible to monetize a free blog. Trust me on this. I know this can be quite confusing, so I just wanna go over this once more so you understand the difference. WordPress.com is not self-hosted. WordPress.org is what we want, and it's self-hosted. Now, why am I recommending WordPress.org? WordPress.org is the platform recommended with Bluehost, and they are super compatible. And WordPress is free if you sign up for Bluehost. It's simple to use, easy to navigate, and to set up. And you will see in a minute, WordPress is automatically installed when you sign up for Bluehost. You don't have to do anything. It just installs automatically, it's super easy. Now WordPress is the number one platform for bloggers and because it's so popular, there are many beautiful themes available to you. And speaking of its popularity, there's also gonna be countless of tutorials, helpful resources around the web. You can also download more plugins to further improve and beautify your website. And I'm gonna be teaching you all about plugins in a later lesson. Don't you worry, I got you. And WordPress automatically optimizes your blog, making it easier for Google to find it. And we want that Google traffic. And lastly, WordPress.org is what I use for my blog right now. And I strongly recommend you use it too, just to make your life a little easier. It's finally time to start your dream blog. Coming up, we're gonna go through my step-by-step -step process for getting started with Bluehost and WordPress. So let's do this. Step number one, go to shedreamsallday.com slash Bluehost and click on get started now. The green button, off we go, it's happening. So next up, you're gonna select your plan. Now, since you're just starting out, the basic plan should be just fine. And you can always upgrade your plan later so you don't have to worry about that. So hit select on the basic plan. So it's time to register your new free domain name with Bluehost. So type in your desired domain and click on next. Now, if you do already have a domain name for some reason, you can also type that in in the box next to it and hit next. Step number four is to fill out your information. Fill out your name, your address, and your personal information. And this is where you're gonna select your plan. Now, I highly suggest that you go for the 36 month plan. And it's important to know that Bluehost will charge you for an entire year upfront. That is how they are able to offer such a good deal for under $4 a month. But in the long run, you're gonna save money this way. So make the commitment now. And it's gonna be the best value for your bucks anyway, because this will lower your monthly costs. And you don't even have to think about money leaving your bank account for over two years, right? So that is my recommendation. 
Now you want to make sure that you toggle on domain privacy protection. Now it's not showing up in the screenshot right here, but you will see it. Just make sure that it is toggled on. If you don't toggle it on, your website and your information is gonna be public record, meaning spammers and people you don't want to have your phone number can get their hands on your phone number. So that is super important that you toggle on domain privacy protection. You do not need Site Backup Pro. I'm gonna teach you how you can back up your blog for free using a plugin in a later lesson. And you don't need SiteLock Security either. The only thing I want you to toggle on is the domain privacy protection. Alrighty, Roo. Step number five, it's billing time. So fill in your payment information, toggle on that you have read and agreed to Bluehouse terms and hit submit. And voila, congratulations, you have successfully signed up for hosting and you are soon to be an official blogger. Next, you're gonna need to create a password for your new account. So click on create your password and create a password and make sure to keep it safe and sound. And make sure to store it in a safe place and just write it down somewhere on a piece of paper. You do not wanna forget this password. And click on next. You can now log into your brand new Bluehost account. Now that you have successfully signed up for Bluehost, WordPress will automatically install. And this image should pop up. So I, what I want you to do, I don't want you to worry about picking a theme that inspires you, even though WordPress wants you to pick one. Just scroll down and click on skip this step because I'm gonna be teaching you how to install the Divi theme in a later lesson. Woohoo! <laughs> You're done, you are ready to go. Click on start building. All right, you are on your way. So what we're looking at right now is your WordPress dashboard meaning WordPress has successfully been installed and you're a blogger now. Now WordPress is gonna ask you whether you want to build a blog for business or personal use. Now I'm gonna just assume that you want to start a blog that's profitable, in which case you choose business. So click on business. Just as a reminder, to access your WordPress dashboard, you can just go to yourdomain.com forward slash WP hyphen admin. And I suggest that you bookmark this page. Next, you will be asked to enter the name of your blog and a little description. I don't want you to worry if you don't know what to write just yet, so you can just set this up later. But in case you feel like it, enter, your, enter the name of your blog, a little short description, and hit next step. It's time to launch your blog. Your website will display a coming soon page by default. Now, in all honesty, all right, no one is going to find your blog. You're not promoting it yet. You haven't written any blog posts. Nobody's going to find it. So what I want you to do is click on launch. That way you can install your theme and customize it in real time the way you want. So click on launch and you're done. Woohoo! <laughs> we are done. Now, I just wanna say one thing. You might notice a super long and crazy domain name in your browser when you're inside your WordPress dashboard. That is just a temporary domain name, okay? It takes about 24 hours for Bluehost to configure and properly set everything up and approve your new domain name. So that will automatically change when it's set up. So don't worry about that. I just wanted to say that as the last thing because I know it looks funny right now. You are now ready to start blogging. I am giving you a digital high five from over here. You can't see me, but I am. <laughs> so you've now registered your domain name, signed up for Bluehost, and installed WordPress. And you, my friend, are officially a blogger. Pretty cool. I will see you in the next lesson.